Hello everyone and welcome back to Lucky Loaders 15 where I'll be giving you three selections for tomorrow's racing. Sorry for not doing a video over the last couple of days, just been really busy but yeah uh, hopefully we can have some winners tomorrow. We've started off the month all right, we've had a few winners and hopefully we can keep up the form tomorrow and like I say three selections. Let's get into the first ones and then we're going to go to Salisbury tomorrow for the 345 of a horse called Sunrise Valley as my nap of the day for Ryan Moore and Sir Michael Stout. Currently available at 2-1 to one with Betfair and Paddy Power at that price. I'm going to recommend a one point win bet here. Now you might remember we put up this horse when she finished fourth on her seasonal reappearance at Nottingham. That was quite a strong race for the grade I think. There was a few uh, fillies in and around her that have been uh, competing at listed level. So I don't think it was a bad run at all. I think she'll strip a little bit fitter. She did last season from her seasonal reappearance. And I thought, even though this is still a class three contest for fillies, and she does have to give away lumps of weight, it was a weaker race. I didn't think it was that strong. And I think tomorrow, Ryan might just be able to get an easy time on the lead of things, dictate the pace. And if he can, he just might be able to win here. She races off the same mark of 85, so the handicapper didn't drop her. I think the ground will be fine. We're not expecting really any rain up until the race tomorrow. So I do think this horse might be able to get ahead in front. The yard obviously going um, very well after Desert Crown at the weekend. I just thought there was a lot to like here about Sunrise Valley. I know it's a two to one shot. It's not my most original selection in the, in the world, but I think she would probably be my most confident bet of the day. We then go to the 645 at Chelmsford with a horse called Memento for Holly Doyle and Archie Watson. This is going to be my next best of the day. He was currently available at 4 to 1 at the time of recording. I'm going to recommend a one point win bet here. Now this horse has been maybe a little bit disappointing after showing some really good form when he was a three year old. And I just think maybe these days he's more effective on the all weather. If you actually look at his all weather record, he's got a good one. He's three wins from seven career starts. And he's now down to his last winning mark of 97, which actually did come on the all weather at Saddle. I'm sure he's probably going to go forward tomorrow. He's got a good draw from a low, uh, a low gate. So, yeah, if he does go to the front tomorrow, there may be one or two others that want to go from the front or be not far from off the pace. But I just think Holly Doyle might just be able to get a, get, a, get an easy lead here and she just might be able to judge a fraction he stays over further he can race up to a mile so yeah i think his stamina can maybe play out over the trip here and i just think tomorrow for night off a mark of 97 this looks a really good winnable opportunity for him and i'd be disappointed if he couldn't go close in that race at chelmsford we then go to the 640 at Weatherby for my long shot of the day with a horse called Cloudy Rose for Rose Doors. Claiming five, she's riding for uh, John Berry here. Currently available at 9 to 1 with Bet365. We were paying four places. There were some other uh, firms going a bit short on this one, but that was the best price at the time of recording. Now, this horse, Cloudy Rose, if you've been following my YouTube channel for quite a while, I actually put this horse up when she finished second at Nottingham last summer behind a horse of Joseph Paz called You're Good. She ran a good race that day, finishing uh, second. We put her, like I say, at 21 each way, and she was able to get the place money for us. And ever since then, she's been campaigned over slightly shorter trips, but I just think that over two miles is ideally what she wants. She just stayed forever. Her last race at Yarmouth, even though she didn't beat a rival home, wasn't a bad one. Go and watch her race, uh, the race and replay. She just gets outpaced, but she keeps finding. And she wasn't actually beaten by that far. The winner of that race, Mucker Magic, um, he, he was able to show his class in that race. He'd been rated previously a lot higher in the past. So there, was a lot, uh, there wasn't probably anything she could have done to get closer to him. But that was over a mile and six. But stepping up to two miles tomorrow could really suit. And um, I don't think this is a particularly strong race. Rose Doors as well. She did quite well last year for Mick Shannon. Rode a few nice winners for him. And at nine to one, I thought this was a good each way price. John Berry as well. He knows the family well. Um, this uh, her dam that he trained actually won over two miles, so that suggests that uh, it will suit. She's pretty versatile any ground as well. And John Berry, okay, they've not had a winner for a few weeks, but they don't have many runners. And their last runner, which ran in the last couple of weeks, ran a good race to finish second. So there's plenty going for this horse tomorrow. And I think this horse of a nice low weight can definitely sneak into the places and go very close in that last race. And who knows, she might be good enough to break her maiden tag. So there are the selections then for tomorrow's racing. If you're still enjoying these videos, remember to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe here to the YouTube channel at LuckyLoads15. If you want to follow me on the socials as well, Twitter and Insta are other places to do so where my handle is at LuckyLoads15. Please gamble responsibly and we'll be seeing you again soon.